Hello everybody, it's Jordan reporting for Niche Sports. I'm just about to head out to tonight's game, Hull FC versus Leeds Rhinos at Headingley. I'll be reporting on that one. Thought I'd give you my pre-match thoughts before we go. Um, I think it's going to be a very, very good game this evening. I think many people are predicting it to be a bit of a walkover for, for the Rhinos. Um, I think it'll be a little bit closer than that. I'm, I'm not going to say a really tight game. You know, Hull FC is struggling at the moment. Um, and they really need to find a bit of form soon. Um, earlier in the season, obviously, these two these two sides played at Headingley. Uh, Hull FC did pick up the win um, by 22 points to 18. Obviously, very different circumstances this evening, and it'll be uh, interesting to see um, what happens. Just how different will the game be? Will Leeds um, absolutely dominate like many predict they will? Will Hull FC uh, turn up a little bit? Obviously, um, we've got a good good win percentage at Headingley over recent years. Will that continue? Well, they uh, they probably will hope so. They need it. Um, my prediction, though, is Leeds Rhinos will pick up the win by 12 points. Um, but yeah, I'll go to, I'm going to the game tonight, get some fan content, get some in-game clips, and uh, talk you through the game as it happens. Just before we go, um, I've got an interview. Uh, I've had the thoughts of the uh, Hull FC fans on on Instagram. He sent his thoughts into us um, here at Niche Sports. Um, he says, hello, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed on tonight's away fixture against the Leeds Rhinos. You're very welcome. Um, after a gritty but huge win for the Rhinos on the weekend against the Giants at Headingley, it should give them a huge confidence boost to beat a wounded Hull FC side low on confidence after the derby trauma to all the odds the Rhinos should easily beat the winning fix should easily be winning this fixture against the black and whites as they are without jake clifford tex hoyt and some other key names that could really prove to be crucial uh for hull tonight not having them playing key players um sp specifically in attack for the black and whites um but in recent years hull have one of the best win percentages at henley in recent years will that change today probably Hopefully not from a black and white perspective. Uh, Hull FC fan goes. Hull, Hull FC fan zone goes on to say, Hull have to go out, um, go out that change room, showing full pride and determination to those away supporters. And I know we shouldn't be asking for it, but we need to show one hundred percent pride and love into that badge and play it as a team. Tony Smith said about playing the youngsters um, this evening, and I totally, totally agree. We should be playing the likes of Bamford, Litton, and Gardiner as they are Hull lads. They will give effort and pride into that badge, even if performances don't go our way. The key to victory is moving that ball around as much as we can and get a big first 10 to 15 minutes under our belt. He then says uh, his final score prediction for tonight's match will be 26-10 to the Rhinos. They just look too strong for us at this moment in time. Well, thank you, Hull FC fans on, on Instagram for sending in your thoughts. We uh, will see if that's true. Uh, you did point out... Um, about playing with young lads as all from Hull, I would agree with that. I think um, that's a very good idea. Perfect time to to put them into the first team. Obviously, the team's not out yet, um, but we'll see if they're included. Hopefully, they are. But um, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go to the game. So I've just arrived at Headingley. Absolutely chucking it down. Lovely weather. About half an hour into reserves game, and it's uh, eighteen nil to the Leeds Rhinos. It's half time here at Headingley in the reserves game. Leeds Rhinos 22, Hull FC reserves 6. A late try from Mackenzie Harmon gets Hull on the board, but uh, Leeds dominating here. Yeah. I, re I really like rugby, it's really fun coming. I like about watching them. I just like it. Do you like Ronnie the Rhino then? Yeah. Do you think you'll win today? Half percent. Yeah. Thank you. Right, I'm here with a Leeds fan. Uh, what are your thoughts on today's game? I think the conditions will play a big part in the match tonight. I mean, I would expect the Rhinos to win, but I don't think it'll be the world score that a lot of people might be expecting. Yeah. Is there uh, any players that Hull FC should be looking out for tonight that have been on good form? Blake Austin, Cameron Smith. Yeah. Nene McDonald, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with a Hull FC fan. What are your thoughts on today's game? Well, we've also had like a really big losing patch, but... We won against Leeds last time, so why can't we do it again today? Who do you think will be uh, the standout player for Hull? Um, oh, probably Adam Swift again. Yeah, he did well last yeah. time, didn't he? Yeah. Cheers, thanks. It's finished here in the reserves game at Headingley. It finished Leeds Rhinos 38, Hull FC 18. 
Um, quite a scrappy game, the weather definitely playing its part, particularly in the second half, but Leeds did enough to get the victory. The teams are just about to come out, the game's about to kick off, Leeds will be attacking uh, the Western Terrace in the first half. We're halfway through the first half here, still no points, very close and tight encounter uh, so far. Both sides making lots of mistakes, probably down to the weather. That's the first try of the game and 24 minutes and it's 6-0 to Leeds Rhinos. Um, the try came from Tom Polroyd, a lovely offload and a tackle sets him over and then uh, Rhys Martin converts it 6-0 after 24 minutes. That's the second try of the game, it's 12-0 to Leeds Rhinos after 33 minutes here. Um, down the left-hand side, kick back inside to Hush Pamplet, who uh, scored on the sticks. Reese Martin's converted, 12-0 to Leeds. Leeds Rhinos are in again, sloppy defence from Pulesi and Tom Polaroid gets his second of the day. Reese Martin converts for a third time, 18-0 to the Rhinos. It's half-time here at Headingley, Leeds Rhinos 18, Pull FC 0. A terrible performance from Pull FC, and uh, to be honest, not, not a fantastic one from Leeds. Pull FC's defence is not sliding, loads of gaps all over the field which Leeds are exploiting. Um, and as for Hull's attack, is there even an attack? It is just so flat. Not great, Leeds are uh, good money for them, good money uh, for the lead here. It'd be, uh, I think it'd be lucky if we'll get any points on the board this afternoon. Half time, Leeds Rhinos 18, Full FC 0. After a few repeat sets on the full line, Leeds have gone in again. This time, Ash Pamley, Reese Marty converts, it's 24 0 to the Rhinos. Full FC put up a teasing kick, it's not dealt with by the Leeds Rhinos defence, and Adam Swift goes over for Hull FC. McNamara can't convert, it's 24 4 after 55 and a half minutes. Weak goal line defence again from Hull and uh, Leeds sliding again just uh, near their post and Rhys Martin converts to make it 30 points to 4. Hull FC is starting to look better in attack now and their reward for that is a Josh Griffin try converted by Ben McNamara, it's 30 points to 10. It's another Leeds Rhinos try here, Rhys Martin dives in from the play of the ball, he misses his conversion though this time, it's 34 10 to Leeds Rhinos. Full time here, it's finished Leeds Rhinos 34, Hull FC 10. That is it then, it finished 34-10, two Leeds Rhinos, a dominant display for most of that game. Uh, Hull FC did look better in attack in that second half, it's fair to say, getting two tries on the board. Um, in the first half it didn't look like they'd get any points on the board. The defence though, still quite sloppy. And it's, it's almost the same as what happened at Rovers last week, where the first 20 minutes of that game was quite good, and then they slowly tailed off throughout the rest of the game. That, that definitely happened in the first half, but as I say, it looks a little bit better in that second half, but still not enough. Leeds will be very happy with that. Tom Holroyd absolutely ripping the Leeds defence, uh, the whole defence, I should say, to shreds. Um, and all around a very good performance from them. Uh, they did exploit Hull's poor defence, but take nothing away from them. We shall be very proud of that result. Uh, that means that Leeds climbed the table a little bit. Hull still stuck down in 11th. Um, all eyes will be on. Wakefield versus Lee from for them, which is on Sunday. Um, I think it, it's fair to say now that Hull FC are in this relegation battle, but uh, anything could happen. Things need to change. Um, and it was good to see a few youngsters out there for Hull today. Will Gardner, David Litton. David Litton did look very good, um, especially in that first half. Uh, it was very good. But yeah, Le Leeds much of a better side once again. Um, well, I say once again, Hull's opponents once again much better than them this week. It's finished at Headingley. Leeds Rhinos 34, Hull FC 10. Thank you for watching.